Welcome to Ranger Planet. In this video, we'll tell you about anemophobia, recognizing it, how it manifests itself, and how it can be cured. Before we start, please like this video, it helps us upload more helpful content. Scared of insects? Well, you're not alone, anemophobia is actually a common fear for many people. This phobia can cause symptoms that are sometimes uncontrollable. But having an overall understanding of the topic is necessary to overcome it. Understanding Enemophobia The key is understanding what a phobia is. According to the National Institute of Health, a phobia is, bash, an ongoing and unreasonable fear of a certain object, animal, activity, or situation that poses little to no actual danger. A person going through phobia unconsciously exaggerates the perceived threat of a particular stimulus. The stimulus can be blood, heights, or insects. Phobias can also be partially hereditary or learned from parent to child, through a combination of genes, or learned behaviors. Enemophobia is categorized as environmental, psychological, and medical. Some of the common causes of enemophobia are Fear of contamination The fear of being contaminated by insects because many insects such as cockroaches, flies, and bugs carry diseases. Many fear contamination because of the disgusting looks of certain creatures that instill anxiety. Research has even shown that many fear creatures that look disgusting more than dangerous animals. Fear of being bitten and infestation. Some people fear being bitten by insects and becoming ill. Some allergic reactions, particularly to be stings and fire ant bites also spark enemophobia. Some also fear their body may suffer an infestation. Often, the fear of infestation may be caused by delusional thoughts rather than a simple phobia, environmental causes. The presence of static electricity, mold, pollen, household allergens, and formaldehyde impregnated products can all manifest as unexplained dermatitis or skin irritations. This leads a person to believe it's caused by insects and thus develop a phobia towards them. Medical conditions and trauma. Certain medical conditions such as syphilis, meningitis, fluoride poisoning, anxiety disorders, thiamine or folate deficiencies, cirrhosis adrenal insufficiency, mental retardation, hyperthyroidism, and others, are also considered as factors that can contribute to enemophobia. Psychological factors Psychological stress factors such as a divorce, loss of employment, loss of a loved one or pet, traumatic or tragic incident, financial downfalls, and even life imbalance are stressors linked to enemophobia. Social isolation People who live alone may experience this phobia. When living alone, their health becomes a fixation, allowing them to interact with doctors more. Because of this, they obsess over their skin and other dermatitis diseases. This can make them constantly think about insects, bugs, and related allergies. These thoughts then eventually turn into enemophobia. Depression Depressed individuals often suffer low self-esteem and feelings such as worthlessness. Depression and insecurity can trigger fear toward insects, bugs, and related creatures. Observing the symptoms of enemophobia can help prevent escalation. Symptoms of enemophobia For most people, enemophobia is a low-level fear, usually resulting in a mild panic, like waving a wasp away. For those that it affects more seriously, it's more than just the irrational fear toward an insect, that may not pose any danger. For these people, it can include even being near an insect that can cause anxiety and irritation. People with enemophobia may experience the following. An instant feeling of intense fear and anxiety, that worsens when insects come closer. Difficulty, in controlling the fear of harmless insects. Difficulty in concentrating or functioning. Doing everything possible to avoid interactions with insects, which may include avoiding parks, basements, or even any outside space. Physical symptoms can include, shaking or trembling, sweating, dry mouth, panic attacks, rapid heart rate, hyperventilation, chest tightness and crying, especially in children. But the fear of insects does not have to control your life. There are ways to diffuse endemophobia. Options to treat endemophobia? You can overcome endemophobia if you are willing to face it head on. There are plenty of short-term treatment methods that can help a sufferer beat even the most stubborn endemophobia. How is entomophobia treated? The goal of treating entomophobia is to stop phobia from interfering with one's quality of life. Treatments will be focused on teaching a person how to manage the phobia and then eventually eradicate it. Here are some common methods of treating entomophobia. Near exposure effect. Exposing an individual to the source of the phobia in a controlled environment. 
The process is repeated until an individual changes their response or reaction towards the source. This is also called systematic desensitization. Cognitive Behavioral Therapy CBT. This therapy focuses on your thoughts about your phobia and how they influence you. Mainly focusing on changing your thoughts and reactions to your phobia. The goal of CBT is to control your thoughts until you're no longer overwhelmed by the source of the phobia. Medication. Your doctor may recommend specific medications to reduce your anxiety and other symptoms depending on your level of phobia. These could include anxiety drugs, beta blockers, or antidepressants. But note that none of these are officially FDA approved for the treatment of phobias. This video is for informational purposes only. Be sure to check with your doctor for professional medical advice. Enemophobia is not acrophobia. The fear of bugs crawling on you is not enemophobia, it's known as acrophobia. Some tend to combine entomophobia and acrophobia together. But the specific feeling of a bug crawling on you or the fear of itching on the skin because of insects is the proper form of acrophobia. So that's it for today. What do you think of our video? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and would like to hear more from us, please like our video before you go. Thank you for watching us.